All right, it's day two. Felipe Lopez is just busy doing his job interview. Since he's doing his interview, I thought I'd go to the entire Windsor. We supposedly have big jig heads. You need like three quarter ounce and one ounce. You can't get that in the entire around our region. They must know something around here. Anyway, yeah, let's get it. Well, the jig heads are getting depleted. We don't have one ounce, and one ounce is kind of good for us yesterday. Two, five eighths, and three quarters. We're looking for trebles, but uh, they may not be the right stinger size. Phil's not going to like those, but it's better than nothing. There's Felipe's zoom bug. He was getting them on a zoom arm. It's the closest thing I could find. The general, it's like a Senko, but June bug. We're stuck with the three quarters and five eighths. Felipe! How's your interview, bro? Uh, I think it went all right. Yeah? They they said I was well-spoken. Yeah, you are well-spoken. I went down to the river to have a look at it. How's it look? Buddy. The wind, uh, it's going to clear up. Yeah? It's like, it's not super muddy. It's just like a little bit too muddy. It's almost doable right now. This evening, it might even be okay. Today is maybe. Maybe zero? Maybe zero. Really? Yeah. Once the prop comes in sight, you just get them. Prop goes out of sight, you stop getting them. Oh, man. All right. Just all right. Okay, I'll see you in right. a bit. Goodbye. We're at the DR. Finally got some warm weather. Bite wise, this should be the day, but uh, it is windy. He's gonna, he's gonna be fighting on that trolling motor. Heavy metal walleye about to go down. Let's go. Check this out. On his remote, he's got a musky leader as a rope to tie it around his neck. That's so Saint Clair, bro. See that flag right there? Still blowing. from last night's wind we had a major northwest overnight so it got really dirty um we're just looking for some clean water and i can see the prop phil i can see the prop yeah i can felipe lopez is very big on if you can see the prop or not but uh hopefully they're on this drift because it's muddier in a lot of other spots we get a few more for this catch and cook jimmy's versus felipe's fish flower Nice, we need this meat. Walleye plus weeds. Oh, we're gonna eat. Sweet. On the Bondi worm, traditional. I did get a bite earlier on a black and gold Bondi fish. Eat perfect eater with not too much Detroit metal in it. So we're gonna eat that one. Not too scuffed. Yeah, at, oh, I got sprayed. <laughs> on my, oh, got on my black pants. I just got scuffed. Not good, not good. I guess he's not happy about dinner time. So he had to drop a gem on him. Not good, not good. Lucky okay, I wore my white Nikes. Blends right in. I don't know. Looks heavier, bud. What was that on? The Senko? Yeah. Top down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Side wonder? Chunky. Beautiful. Another perfect eater. And what we did is we just cut down our baits. He's using a black Senko again. I got one on a small Bondi worm. And we were using bigger stuff yesterday. And we started with that and didn't get any. And then uh, we just moved to a smaller profile. Got the first bite on this one, or the first fish landed on this one, Bondi. And he chopped his worm down to like a smaller worm and bang. So two oh, yeah. fish versus the other one, so. Yeah, we got, I had one on this bit bigger Bondi fish thing. And then I switched to another black and gold, that color. And then it fills on just straight black. All right, we're leaving our first spot. We're gonna check some new areas. Why not gamble a bit, yeah? We got a lot gamble. of ground to cover. There's good, good spots down river. These are the guys I used to fish with in the streets of the six. <laughs> he sold out the Drake. Who's better? Eminem was better than Drake. You're racist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> moved down to another spot we got a uh, USA over there you can see the flag there's Detroit and we're on the Canadian side even if the water's clearer over there and you have a US license you may not want to go right now right close and you can get what $700 ticket yeah something like that we're marking right away oh yeah double hook spot this is it right there Canadian walleye right there USA walleye Right on the high. 
I, when He's I got one out. on. Phil's got one. He's is it side, the Canadian flag? Sidewinded. Or is it Kyle Moxon with the Canadian flag? You see this guy? Get bit. Oh, it's a nice one, dude. That's a nice one. Oh, sweet. This is Woo! That's a donk, bud. That's our biggest donk. one yet? Yeah. And you got that on that black fish that I was using? Yeah. It's nice. And it was two feet off bottom, eh? Yeah, I hit it when it was way Woo! up. There's your, there's your wife, bud. She could jig. Any fish? Oh, I just missed one. I just missed one. Oh, look, I do, look. I got a Johnny Darter. Log perch? Yeah. Also known as a Johnny Darter? Mm -hmm. I think it is. That's fantastic. Cute. Very cute. In danger. <laughs> I can't believe you've, like, I haven't seen them in forever. Since the gobies and zebra mussels came and stuff, I've never seen them. Got him right behind the engine too, eh, Phil? Finally. Went to on a on a black minnow. Nice. This is gonna go into Jimmy's perch powder. Sweet. Detroit, Canada. We love you both. You produce big walleye and the best rappers of all time. Drake, Eminem, this is for you. Send us an OVO shirt. <laughs> OVO walleye shirt? That's what we need, OVO walleye. Hey, don't forget about Dre. Dre, can you make us some beats for this vid, bro? Oh man, we're on it now. We're on it now, Phil. Found it. Found them. And they're biting. You want a slow mo flip? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. This is a good one for slow mo flip. I'll probably lose We're gonna do a slow mo flip. Don't worry, don't worry. You just fly off. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> got it! Yeah, bud! So sick. We got a slow mo flip vid. Let me see your dirt. Those are the kind I want. There's not too much metal in those, bro. This guy's eating ones with full of metal. Limited metal. Yeah, limited metal. This is the acceptable level. Let's see. That bait has been our best, just like chunks of Sankle style baits. That's a Berkeley June Bug General. Phil's got a pumpkin. That straight fall has really been very good for us. We got kind of fish on two opposite ends of the spectrum. One's on a darker purple and his is on like an orangey thing. So it's like the profile and length seems to be the number one thing, keeping your line straight. It's 70K wind. We got another one, Phil's got another one. He's got it on the pumpkin. Yeah, this one choked it finally. I wanted it. This is Rod of Choice Legend Tournament, 8 to 14 pound test, 7 foot, medium heavy. He has uh, 8 pound uh, Power Pro, uh, about 3 feet of fluorocarbon leader. That's about it. That's what he was using. I don't know if you can see that flag. It's howling like a banshee. We're struggling to keep our line straight. Fish are biting, however, but we're gonna try one more spot just to get out of this wind because Phil's losing his mind and he's getting angry. Raging. He's raging, bro. Why can't you be more like the Drizzy and just chill? I'll chill when the wind leaves. I'm fishing for walleye on the weekends as usual. Oh, got one. Got one. I just turned the camera on too. Oh, that's crazy, bud. This is insane. There's a deep nothing. This is like, a, oh, on the stinger hook again. If you're coming down here to Lake St. Clair, Phil's like adamant about it. We saw some other videos, guys don't like the stinger because it catches weeds and stuff, but the bite's a little fragile today. It's muddy and man, every bite's counting. And look, another fish, my biggest fish yesterday came right on that stinger. Go for the bait and then you get him on that stinger and uh, you just let it dangle a little bit past your bait. Don't hook it back into the bait and just let it sit there. This is my last worm, you can see it's scuffed up. I don't have any more of this one, Phil, which blows. Beautiful fish though minus the cream got one they're coming on another one goes on another we're cranking them now but that downsize is the time is the water clearing i don't know but could be several factors here lights out yeah you just whaled it bro black stanko 
Bass baits for walleye. Good title? Not really. I got creamed. Great title. Not clickbait. Oh, I got it. Creaming, creaming walleye. <laughs> nice creamer, bud. Watch your eyes. He's, she's creaming. Wear your polarized glasses when you come to Lake St. Clair this time of year. You will get creamed. 16 pound floral is kind of ideal for this. What you gotta do is, okay, here's the jig. You can see the paint's not through the hole. We're not gonna put the stinger through the hole, okay? So step number one, just go like this. I do a improved clinch, many little rings and rolls, very easy. I already made, and then I put it back through the hole so it's already ready to rock. I wet it and then I lasso that ring, see there, pull it around. And that's gonna swing down here, right? So if you have it on the eyelet of the hook bend, bending against your knot, it's gonna be a lot harder to keep your line straight. And 16 pound, it's just a little stiffer than if you were to use 10 or something. So it's gonna help your hook stand straight out a little bit. Next step, just cut that little, and this will work anywhere. I th I'm starting to believe that the stinger could be good all the time. You know what I mean? We got so many fish on that stinger. Next part, I'm gonna cut a little bit more than you would think. Probably about there. We got an eight here. Again, we'll just tie here. One big thing I've learned too, is we're not hooking this hook back into the bait. We're just letting it dangle. There you go, it's fairly long. There you have it, there's a little stinger. It's about a centimeter longer than the bait. That's what it felt like, so roughly longer. You might use a bait a bit bigger throughout the day, but roughly around a centimeter past the bait's good. There you go, there you go. Experimenting has been the key. Let go of yesterday. We let go of yesterday and we went smaller. Like we were using worms three times, four times the size of this yesterday. We started with that and got jack all, and then we went to rinky dink. Bingo! Phil's biting my styles, eh? I invented this. <laughs> and now he's creaming me. Should have never showed him the dinky worm. We were never marking when he caught. More bites, less snags, straight. Drop controlled. Lift, drop control. Find bottom. Lift. Don't find bottom too long either. Just jigging back in the current, hopping straight. Got him. Chunky, chunky male. Ho oh ho! Nice. We're eating good. Jimmy's. Does he want Jimmy's or does he want Felipe's? The water is starting to clear just a bit, like Phil said. We decided to wait for the wind to blow out and it's clearing fast and the bite is coming on. Like baits this big. Out of control in the wind. Got one. Fish on. Felipe, we're eating. If we don't see a boat, we catch. <laughs> Folks, if you're watching, don't follow other boats. When we were fishing other, around other boats, we caught nothing. Uh, we've been catching fish where Philip doesn't normally fish, just based on the fact that there's no boats. <laughs> and bang. Oh, my worm's gone, bud. I just got the stub. That's my last one. I'm gonna be melting them together. Felipe Lopez. He's on something. Foul hooked walleye? Oh yeah, right in the poop chute. Stinger in the butt. Oh. Oh, that almost came right off, man. Oh, that would suck. I know. Well, that happens. I got one. Oh, I lost him. Oh my God. Damn. Too loose. Right away. Boo. Boo. And um, that could be our last fish, but uh, pretty embarrassing to leave on a snagged bum fish. You snagged him in the bum, and we're gonna leave him that, bro? When I think about Felipe Lopez, I think of bum snagger. <laughs> Sponsored by the Bum Strike Master. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, bro. <laughs> Phil's cutting up some walleye. I think it's time to uh, call Jimmy, figure out how he does his double dip, because I don't want to read instructions. There you go, Philly's doing his work. He's in his uh, fishing trousers. That's what those are, big time. That's called Jimmy now known as just Jim. All right, we just call him Jim now. Jim used to be a nickname. And now when you call him Jim, it's just like, it's his name. <laughs> Let's call him. Used to be Jay, I guess. What, who's Jay? Oh, Jimmy, you mean? No, no. Jim, answer your phone, Jim. Yeah, my phone doesn't record volume, so I have to FaceTime him with like a camera filming it. So ghetto. 
This is Terrell. Jim, what's going on? It's time for Catch and Cook. That's what we're doing. Hey, I can't read instructions. How do I do this crunchy? I think I did this dry mix wrong. Remember I did it wrong? You messed it up last time. You know what? The way you did it worked out, but the way you did it wasn't exactly following the directions. What do I got to do, Jim? You catch some walleyes? Let's see. There's a bloodbath here. Some of the pile in the back. Oh, yeah. I'll show you the packed yard. It's not, it's not good. There's a graveyard. We just been eating. We just being walleye. We call it heavy metal walleye because we're in Detroit Rock City and it's all full of lead. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. It's there's flies here. You gonna see this, Jim? Oh no, I can see him. Oh wow, you put a spear on The river will never be the same. So what do you gotta do, Jim? You gotta do the double dip. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lead you, I'm gonna lead you through a tarot, okay? Yeah. You're gonna put it in water or milk or egg, whatever you want. You're gonna toss it around the kitchen cook. Yeah. And then you're gonna get it wet again yeah. with whatever you're using, and then you're gonna put it back in the catch and cook, and you're gonna double dip it, and it's gonna get super crunchy. Okay. And if you wanna go real crazy, then you put it back in the liquid for a third time, and then you roll it around in the catch and cook a third time, and you triple crunch it. I'm gonna save that for the perch, because the perch powder needs to, like, you gotta go all out when you actually use perch powder for perch. Do the double dip. I'm gonna, get, right. I'm gonna go sizzle my chest, all right, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to your viewers for a second, Taro. Yeah. Use the code Perch powder for ten percent off. Okay, oh, wicked. Thanks, like, Jim. Ten like percent off. That's amazing. Just for your fans. That's so nice, Jim. Felipe's doing his um, Felipe's fish flour, and we're doing Jimmy's perch powder. We're gonna do the double dip. I did it all wrong, according to Jimmy last time. So what you gotta do? I got wet fish. They're kind of damp. We had them in the salt water overnight, which is really good for taking out that gucky taste. And we're gonna dip the. We're gonna do a double dip. Never did it properly in the last fit. So we're gonna put the walleye in the powder once, wet. We're just have like damp from water, which is good, the salt water, which is good. And then we're gonna dip it in like an egg, milk, or um, water, it doesn't matter, up to you. I'm probably gonna dip it in some milk, and then I'm gonna dip it back in the powder. That's supposed to be like, lights out, this is the deal. You could actually do a triple, like damp walleye in the powder, then into milk, egg, or water again, and then back into the powder, the double dip, all right? Okay. We got our, all our fillets double dipped. The hot grease release is about to go down, right about now, if we don't start a fire. Cause there's grease all over the place. This is not good, but oh well. Felipe, turn it down, I can't hear a thing. Keeps watching fishing. We just fish, bro, don't you get sick of it? Anyway, <laughs> we got our fish in here, frying. I think it's ready. I don't know what 350 is, like again, but uh, I got the double dip going. Looks good, I think that's hot enough. I think when it starts to float, maybe that's when I take it out. Not sure, but uh, let's go. I'm gonna put a few more in. I'm excited to do the legit double dip. I totally screwed up. Look at this, way better than the last time. I'm not as scuffed, I'm not as tired. Last time I was like so burnt, so. There we go. Just, uh, just came out of the uh, frying pan. It's the double dip, uh, the proper way, not the way I did it. Perch powder, extra crispy, the proper way. Thanks, Jimmy, for the proper instructions. Let's try it. Uh, I gotta go home, I gotta make this quick. I got a four hour drive. Gonna put some lemon on it. Boom, 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 boom. Mmm, this is better than the last time. You know what, this way, it tastes like uh, KFC and Popeyes combined, but maybe even better. So good, gotta give this a try. Can't wait to try the triple dip on the actual perch. We gotta use actual perch powder for actual perch next time. We're gonna do triple dip, the trifecta. We're gonna put the code in the description. If you buy it now, you're gonna get 10% off thanks to Jim. He said, uh, just use that code Perch Powder. And uh, thanks, Jimmy. This is unreal. It's like, honestly, kind of KFC Popeye-ish with a little more kick. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Felipe Lopez, do you want to say anything? Yeah, don't eat too many big ones or you'll get mercury poison. Yeah, you would have never known.